Hello, everyone, and welcome to In Sound Mind, a psychological horror game from We Create Stuff. And if that name sounds familiar, these are actually the creators of Nightmare House 2, that famous Half Life 2 mod, and actually the very first Let's Play I completed on this channel. Now, I'll be honest, I have no idea what to expect from this, but from very first impressions of the main menu, these graphics and ooh, these graphics and that music are absolutely gorgeous. Now this room looks quite a bit like a therapist's office. And it's almost like our mind is just hovering in the corner waiting for something to change. And who knows if that'll be a good thing or a bad thing. I can't wait to get into this and see what it's about. I believe this team also had a collaborative role in Cry of Fear, so they certainly have a lot of experience with the genre. I've got to say, this tone is not at all what I was expecting. I mean, the artwork on the store page looked absolutely incredible, but I was expecting something a little bit more bombastic, but this feels like maybe it'll be something a little bit more unsettling and a little bit more, maybe, somber in tone. More like Silent Hill. Things certainly aren't well in our own mind at this moment, and we're not going to find out what it is until we start the game. Uh, we can select a difficulty, which can be changed at any time. A uh, casual experience, focused on story and atmosphere. Uh, a balanced experience, which is the same, but with more action and hard, a true survival horror for experienced players. I usually go with normal. Playing tape? Is this possibly going to have found footage elements, or... is it maybe talking about, like, recordings, like those a therapist might make of a session? Say, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> I killed the cat. Curiosity only brought her to me. What's going on? It's thrown us right in. Get down here. Uh, but I suppose our character doesn't know either. Oh, I see. Now, based on the store page, and certainly from that intro, I'm under the assumption that none of this is real. That all of this is a representation of whatever is psychologically wrong with our character, but honestly, I, I shouldn't even speculate on what's going on here when I don't even know what what is yet. Uh, that vent certainly looks breakable, and that looks interactable. I'll just have to make my way around. Uh, can we open lockers? Do we have to scavenge for items? Uh, my head is spilled with so many questions, but I'm like that one guy in the movie theater who's like, who's that? What's going to happen here? You know, it's like, maybe if I just watch the movie, I'll find out. Notice. Catastrophe. Forget everything. Life as you've known it is now out the window. All indicators are indicating. Stay inside. I see we've got a little bit of that humor that was present in Nightmare House 2. Now, can we take that with us? Okay, we can just uh, read it in more text form. Uh, service hallway. Now, despite the graphical upgrade, and I'm not sure what engine this is on, uh, having the tooltips on the right and the health bar on the bottom left, uh, or at least displayed in that way, sort of makes it feel like a source mod. Certainly looks and feels a lot better, though. 
Oh, it is so exciting to see these developers getting to make their own full game. Hello, what is that? Some kind of material, I guess, but that doesn't look like any kind of hazardous substance I've ever seen. Uh, we can open our inventory with tab, nothing in there now. And it doesn't look like we have any kind of light on us. I guess just once we'll have to find out if it hurts. Gotta stay away. Ah. Uh, it does eventually, but not before our vision starts to go all wobbly. Whatever this is, it messes with our perception. Ah. What was that thing? It almost looked like a zombie or something, but like it had veins with that stuff flowing through it. Alright, now we do have limited sprint. It's not very long. It's locked. There's a key with no dice. Yeah, we need to find ourselves a key, and if we want to head over to the workroom, some kind of flashlight or something to enable us to see. Ah, oh, that was such a cool fake out like image to begin the game with, too. Looking out at what seems like an endless ocean in the middle of the night. Pulling back to reveal that it's actually right dead in the middle of what used to be civilization. Wait. Now that I come over here, I realize, where could that thing have gone? Imagine this. Ah, flashlight. Hopefully there are enough batteries around. Oh, we have limited batteries. Okay, so I should use it sparingly then. Can I hit with it, maybe? This looks weak. No. But maybe I can pick something up from the workroom, something that I can use to break those down. That share wasn't there before. <laughs> I didn't even notice you there! Oh my, did- I don't even know if you peeked around the corner as I approached, or if you were always there and I didn't see you until you moved because I was focused on the chair. You've left something here, though. Hello? Oh. Are you shy? Oh, this is creeping me out already. The same scare has gotten me twice in a row, and... Oh, it is so dark in here, even with the flashlight. Uh, there must be something we can pick up, something we can read. Uh, are you a battery? No. <laughs> Power on? There we are. And it's only now that we can start picking things up. There's a key, probably, to that door. More flashlight batteries. Uh, they only come in increments of 10% at a time. Uh, that makes eight packs of camera batteries. Alright, uh, this workbench is available to all tenants. No outside use allowed. Management is not responsible for any injury you might inflict on yourself. Be safe. Please do not take any tools outside of this room. Superintendent. Okay, well, I make no promises. So are there perhaps going to be, like, crafting mechanics? I'll take you. Nobody there still, right? Oh, I feel the need to keep looking over my shoulder down the hallways. Also, when I heard a sound over here, I, I thought this was a cage that went back to a larger room. So where did that noise come from? assemble something here. Okay, but all I have is the hallway key. No dice. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to learn more about this world and this character. It's locked. There's a keyhole. Okay, lights seem to be holding up over here. Uh, w whenever I see a window like this, all I can think back to is that one scare in Nightmare House where we saw an ally standing on the other side of one of these, 
and when we crossed around the other side, all that was there was a mannequin. There's even a similar gas mask as well. I, I bet we can use that to traverse these things. More batteries. I wonder if this isn't a deliberate callback. Gas leaks are hazardous to your health. If you smell, see, or hear a gas leak coming from the boiler room, leave immediately and notify me. Uh, seems like somebody didn't do their job. Oh, there's all kinds of readables all over the place. Basement rules and regulations. Basement is open 24 hours for residents only. No guests allowed. Residents only, so is this an apartment building? Building is not responsible for anything left in your pockets and ruined in the laundry. Workbench tools must remain in the workroom. Anything left or forgotten in the basement will still be where you left it when you come back. That's a simple statement, but it feels a little bit ominous. Uh, we can't get through here, can we? No. And I imagine calling the elevator won't do much. Oh. Uh, color me surprised. Surprise. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I can climb down there. Maybe doing so isn't the smartest thing. It certainly doesn't feel safe. Can we open you? No. Okay, so we've kind of got multiple tasks stacked on top of each other right now. Oh, we can open you, though. I don't like seeing that thing shake. It being on must mean someone was here recently, right? Tenants. Some of the washers have been... It sounded like the locker opened. Sorry, that startled me. It was so directional. Uh, some of the washers have been short-circuiting. Fortunately, the fuses they use are universal. Still, if they act up, please don't try and fix it. Call me. And there's a little speckling of ink on the paper. Almost as if the superintendent was coughing up black goop as he wrote this. Okay, well, you don't need that anymore. Unless maybe you do. Maybe there's some reason why we should have kept you that way. Uh, there's another battery right there, but I'm not going to take it right now. To what extent does this game reward exploration? I could probably break this with something. Noisy, ain't you? Oh no, is is sound going to be a factor here? Yeah. I suppose it would be based on the title, but you know, I didn't take it for that meaning of the word. Actually, that's where I fixed the fuse. Um, this could go one of two ways when I replace that. Either it's going to go up and I'll get what I want, or it's going to go down and instantly squish me. I could survive that if this were open, but I don't have the means to do that yet. Since I don't know what else to do, and I kind of want to see the outcome, let's just try it, I guess, against my better judgment. Okay, that's one taken out. Now we need to put one in. It's a fuse box. There you go. There you go. Ah, my head. Oh, I was sure I was dead and that I had screwed that up. Oh, it's a good thing it broke this vent for me. Oh, you know, you know what? I've just realized by taking the exploration path, I've kind of broken sequence. I now understand what the noisy ain't you meant, and... Actually, maybe I haven't broken sequence. Maybe things are a little bit more predetermined than I think. Perhaps it was advice that I actually could have desperately used. Nothing good waits for you upstairs. Somebody... I didn't notice this note before. Was somebody here while I was doing all that? If I were you, I'd get nice and comfortable down here. 
I kind of feel like I should. There's still things that I need. Uh, oh. Maybe we actually do have the ability to choose our own adventure a little bit. There's a little gap in the wall right here, but I guess we might as well go to the first level, right? Nothing. Uh, never mind. I am real worried about that hole in the wall. Oh, and those, for that matter. And that. Oh my. Well, nothing to do but explore, I suppose. These ceilings are so high. Uh, we can restore some health using snacks. Uh, can't use the vending machine. Oh, look at this artwork. Nothing. Nothing. Gotta try every door. Oh, this place looks like it's been abandoned for years. There, I said the thing. Are you happy? However, I am not happy at hearing what's on the other end of this phone. You say that, but I definitely heard what sounded like a breath on the other end. I hope that thing's not in the floodwaters outside. Kitty? No, Kitty, come back! love games that incorporate their intro title like this actually make it part of the game world and oh with all that suspense that led up to it uh, but we still have things to do all this police tape in an apartment building is actually reminding me some of cry of fear this lighting is gorgeous i'm gonna have to remember from time to time to turn off my flashlight just look at the graphics. Uh, Desmond Wales, PhD. Are you... perhaps the superintendent of the building? No! My office. Oh, I love that, how it puts that on the screen after I walk in curiously as if the memories are coming back to me. am actually a therapist or a psychologist. I'm not sure what the position would be. And quite an old-timey one from the look of it. This office is gorgeous. If this were my practice, I'd just sleep on that all the time. It looks comfy. Alright, now what else can I do? There must be something here that can help me. Uh, I have a pet called Tanya. A dog, I guess. Or maybe, maybe that cat was Tanya. In which case, I hope she comes back to me soon. It's my tape player. Worth a try. Well, I guess that means we're on the hunt for a tape. Or multiple. Uh, the closet's not going to open. Which means we've got to continue our search. This is so pretty. Every once in a while, I'll have to remember to just turn my flashlight off and appreciate the natural lighting. 
I wonder if these paintings will maybe end up representing something in the greater story. This whole city is underwater. That wasn't that way before. Room zero. battery. Meyer Pharmaceuticals. Dear resident, we at Meyer Pharmaceuticals wanted to take the time and thank you for your continued support in our company and new distribution center here at Milton Haven. Your health and safety are our number one concern, not just as a company, but as neighbors too. For more information on what Meyer Pharmaceuticals is doing in your neighborhood, feel free to call 1-800-MEYER or email us with any com comments or concerns at neighborhoodpharma.mayor.co.biz. Thank you and have a blessed day. Is this maybe like some kind of company town? All run by some pharmaceutical company? And if so, does that mean that I'm getting kickbacks for prescribing their drugs? I can get some HP back, don't mind if I do. And here's a tape. Desmond. Did I record this? I must have. No one is picking up. I wonder if maybe this will function as some kind of hub world. No, it's not that kind of tape. I need to play it in the cassette tape uh, player back in my office. That was beautiful. I guess I was pretty good with the guitar. Nothing in here. Can we actually head back? Oh, we can! So, perhaps we actually have the freedom to roam between the different chambers of our mind. Oh, that's true. That is so cool. Oh, wait. It didn't change. It was actually just a different hallway altogether. I am a Moran. Now there was still plenty we didn't do downstairs, so I wonder if the whole game is going to be like this. Or if it's only certain sections. Oh, this is doing so many cool things. Uh, but now we do have the ability to play both the gramophone and the tape. It's my record player. Nothing. Yeah, which I don't have at the moment. It's my tape player. Go on. No. No. What's going on out there? Oh, it's like the building is falling down an elevator shaft. Oh, that is a nuts idea. Out in the middle of it now. What was that? That could have been the squeak of the boards, but it sounded almost like there's zombie dolphins out here. Which is the last thing I need right now. These harsh floodwaters, they've been a recurring image so far, and I have a feeling they're going to be very central to the themes in this story. Now, what is that off in the distance? In an unexpected turn of events, it seems I'm the one who's losing my mind. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me. But as strange as this is, I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared. 
so... I, I guess... Whatever I thought was wrong with me, I, I began documenting my own descent. Uh, it doesn't seem like I have my flashlight anymore, or even access to my inventory at all. Oh, it all feels so unfriendly. These jagged rocks sticking up out of very rough waters. So he's starting to recognize symptoms from his patients in his own psychology. And he said, since the crash, I swear I keep hearing things from the water. He said since the crash, maybe, maybe he himself sustained some kind of brain damage? And I haven't even asked yet, who was that person on the phone? Somebody clearly sadistic and trying to torture him. My patients were dropping like flies, dying. Oh, poor Virginia. I should go over their cases. I need to understand what this is. Now he claims that his patients were dying. I, I guess, after exhibiting the same symptoms he's starting to recognize in himself, but uh, we can't trust his perception. I mean, even by his own admission, we're dealing with a classic, unreliable narrator. Look at that. It's training us to seek out the glow from the doors. In this case, almost acting like a lighthouse. Those look like big gears turning on that thing. Where will it lead us now? But what did that do for me? I mean, I certainly learned a little bit more about what this character is going through, and... Oh my god. I'm having a weird day. Everything okay with you? <laughs> All right. That cat is adorable. I want to just get this cat and the dog from Lost in Vivo and just put them next to each other and just pet them all day. Oh, look at the way, look at the way she blinks her little eyes. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hello. Okay. Oh, we can pet her. Goaty 1010, yeah, you're telling me. That's precisely what I was about to say. I love this game already. Tanya, oh, look at her little nose, too. Ah, <laughs> oh, please stay here for the entire game and be safe, too. Uh, can we feed you? I'd love to give you some food. Elevator button. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, you are such a good kitty. I'm going to pet you again. Good kitty. <laughs> I love it when you pat a cat's head. Uh, I don't know why I keep turning on the flashlight, but I love it when you pat a kitty's head and they, like, look up and try to push their head into your hand and they close their eyes like that. It's so adorable. I love you. Okay, let's go. Uh, back off into this world, then. But now we have the ability to go down to the next floor. I'm guessing it's going to be you again. Do you know how a Rorschach test works? I show you an ink blot, and you sneak your way into an interpretation. That's what I do. Intending to fix other people's problems while avoiding your own. 
That's doubly what I do. What nonsense. Well, there's an ink blot, there's a problem. Try and avoid your problems now. I can sneak oh. past it. I know oh. I can. I can sneak past it. How do I do that? Okay, so we're officially referring to these things as ink blots. But how would I go about sneaking past it? Maybe hide right here? No, there's not enough room. I can't sink down far enough unless. No, no, no. No, no, no. Maybe the darkness will hide me? Nope. It knows I'm here! It knows I'm here! Get up, get up, get up! Run! Get up and run! Okay. Forget sneaking. Let's just get our stamina back. Oh, you're fast. You're very fast. Run, but there's something back there. Something on the ground that I need to get. No. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Let's just uh, button now. Rest later. Uh, I hope I'll have some way of defending myself at some point. Uh, we're back down in the basement. This isn't what I need. I need to go to floor one, but anything's preferable to where we just were, right? Maybe once we get the tools we need, we can break down those boards and traverse via the stairs. I've got to get to grips with how stealth works. That stamina is not enough for me to use it all the time. Locked, of course. Now, it's always been white light that's heralded progress, but... Purple light I've come to associate with whatever evil is going on here. Interesting numbering convention. 999, right next to 475. I can probably cut this with something. I might be able to cut this. Okay, so some kind of scissors or cutter. Put that on our list. And these maintenance areas might be exactly how we can do it. Uh, there's some health in here, which we don't need right at the moment. Uh, how do we navigate through this? Uh, we can jump up on here. Now the stalker part of my brain is telling me to take all these bottles of vodka. If you're reading this, it means I was right. In that case, slide... Second floor above the vending machine. Barrel. First floor maintenance room taped under the table. And grip. Basement behind the middle laundry machine. You got my back. I got yours. L. Okay, so we have the... I just scared myself. We have... The scavenger hunt to find the individual pieces of a firearm... I don't exactly consider scattering the pieces to the wind to be having my back bow, L. Uh, we've got more batteries, don't quite need them right now, and health. Okay, well it's just good to know that they're here. Since we do have some survival horror elements going on here and a persistent world, I'm a little reluctant to take them before I need them. Nothing. What am I doing? Now, I could open that door at the end there, but why would I do pretty much anything until I have that gun? It's blocked from the other side. Now, that's a little bit creepy. Many games have used it's blocked from the other side instead of locked to indicate that something's holding it, but here... Oh, only once we got to see me push it inward and then see it get pushed back by whatever's over there. We can probably make our way around this, right? It's blocked from the other side. Same thing. But there's our pistol barrel. But there's more. One thing in the basement and one more on the second floor above the vending machine, which means uh, we are going to have to get past that thing again. Plus one HP. <laughs> uh, there's always a gag item in these games. 
Let's get the other one by the washing machine in the basement first. Now that thing's creepy, but it's not our friend that we saw down here. The one that's been leaving us messages. At least I don't think so. Behind the middle washing machine, is that what it said? Uh, on top, Fastenide increases your speed every three pills. Oh, that's an interesting way of doing it. We keep finding them, and every once in a while, we get to get an upgrade. But it doesn't matter which ones we find, we just have to keep finding them. Uh, if we had a fuse... This fuse box. Ah, this doesn't work. If we had a fuse, we could maybe get this thing to vibrate its way out of the way. Question is, where do we find a fuse? We don't want to get one from the elevator, because then we can't use it anymore. But then again, we actually only need it for a second. Ah, I see what we're doing. We can always remove it afterwards. Yes. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, this is actually already doing some of my favorite uh, things that adventure games do. I like the idea of interchangeable parts that you have to choose when and where you decide to use them. Uh, I'm trying to crouch jump, but I'm really failing at it here. Okay, fuse. Which means you'll vibrate slowly out of the way for me. There we are. Which will enable us to then reach in and grab the grip. Now all we need is one more piece. And you can stop right there. Presumably you won't go forward any farther than this bench, right? That's why that's here. Now, while we're down here, is there anything else we can do? Or do I really just have to make a run for that gun? There's still things I can do on the first floor. I'm just very reluctant to do them without a gun. It's a fuse box. There we go, elevator restored. And we shall be on our way. I think we go to the second floor and make a run for the last part of the gun. It was on top of a vending machine. And I think we can make it. There's health down here. That thing is probably still going to be here. There's a vent right there. Battery here. I'll take that. Might as well do that now. Another one here. Top of the vending machine, it said, so let's just go quickly. And that thing does seem to be gone for now, but for all we know, it could be patrolling the other hallway. Now we've got all the pieces of the gun. We can go down to the basement and assemble it. Oh, this is exciting. I'm actually really getting into the mechanics of this. And I'm, it's raised so many questions that I can't wait to get the answers to. We haven't really had much in the way of, like, stealth or enemy gameplay so far, but uh, I'm pretty happy that it's been kind of building up to that. To the point where I actually feel very unsafe around enemies. Which is good for building an atmosphere of fear. I'll probably assemble something here. Yes, I certainly can. You, and you, and you. Old and reliable. It's been a long time oh, since I've shot one of these. This. Well, it seems like I'm probably going to have to. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't help me get past any of these obstacles. I, I could maybe take down one of those creatures. But we've yet to determine how useful eight bullets will even be. I fire this gun. I have no idea what's going to happen to that enemy. Uh, we're, we're, we're still in that early stage where there's so many unknowns having me genuinely reluctant to move forward. That's just how I like it in a horror game. What am I doing? These doors will it's remain locked. The other side. Nothing else we need here. Oh man, there's really going to be nothing I can do but open that purple door.
Oh, it's me walking on the glass. Second time I've scared myself that way. Very nice attention to detail, though. Room one. Virginia's apartment. Virginia was one of my patients who, I guess, died. To our dearest customers, we are saddened to inform you that we'll be closing our store at the end of this week. Unfortunately, we can no longer compete with the large supermarket chains that have laid their claim to our small town. We wish to thank you for your patronage and invite you to our going out of business sale this Thursday. Stay classy, Milton Haven. Eden's Grove Grocery Store. Now, it's talking about larger grocery chains and, like, department stores. Uh, but before, that letter we saw, it seemed to imply that this is like some kind of company town for a pharmaceutical company. I think that's going to be a recurring theme in this game, then. What's worth a shot? Dearest. I've resorted to writing you letters because you won't answer your phone. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we bought you coming on. Is it broken? Your father insisted we send you money for the, for the electric bill. Though you know I love you and will support you, I don't, I don't want to encourage you begging us for money every month. You need to find something more lucrative. Selling your toys is too niche. You were always such a personality. Maybe you could use that to your advantage somehow. Anyway, love and love and love. Please answer your phone. Mom, Dad, and Freddy. I guess Freddy must have been a brother and... Uh, and that's pretty heartbreaking, considering we know how that ended up. Or at least presumably. It's like we're walking through the ruins of the mind of someone who didn't make it. And we're walking through the ruins of that mirror. Maybe indicating some kind of body image issues? Oh, it's one of those toys. It looks familiar. Wasn't there something that looked like this in uh, Powerpuff Girls? I mean, like right down to the face, it looks very familiar. I suppose we should leave that on. Yeah, this mirror is broken as well. Linen by Virginia Rule. She cloaks the knife with pretty linen and presents it as a gift. She croaks the phrase, we pretty women, sending me away adrift. Her dreams are dead, so please take mine. I wonder how she sleeps at night. My dreams are nightmares stuck in time. A linen damaged by a knife. Her tape. Don't stay in bed. I have some ideas for what all this means, but I don't want to speculate just yet. Can't get through here. I don't want to waste a bullet trying to shoot out the lower pane and crawl through. Uh, but we can head back to our office now and give the tape a listen. I got an achievement for that, but can we listen to the whole thing? No? Can I load then? Retribution for your misdeeds. Think about it. I don't know, but in these kinds of situations, oftentimes the only way out is through. 
And that's exactly what I intend on doing. Now, if that guy is here, we're gonna test out this gun, that's for sure. Trying to block our path, eh? I bet these are explosive then. I have a feeling, a hunch if you will, that looking into your patient's death will result in a similar fate. Don't misunderstand. I want you to die. But maybe not so early. Try not to shoot yourself with that pistol you found. Though that would be quite funny. <laughs> I have a better idea. Just sit tight and I'll show you what I mean. And before we do that... Boom. Ah, oh, it gave us a little fireworks show while we were at it! Ah, oh, I see. I'm willing to bet that that glowing eye is a weak spot, right? And we've got some more ammo. How much does one of these magazines actually hold? Eight. Oh, that's this floor cleared. And it's time for us to give that tape a listen, however hard it may be. Tanya, where'd you get to? Uh, I'm sure she'll be back. You know, I've just realized... You come in here and that... nice, comforting piano music starts playing. The light pouring through the windows and... It's so calm, it's... I don't know, it really is a safe room in every sense of the word. This is actually reminding me in a lot of ways of Lost in Vivo. But let's play Virginia's tape. Back in we go. This one tainted by purple. Once again, against the same backdrop. The rough seas and crooked rocks sticking out. And with whatever that huge hulk is in the background, I can't wait to get closer to that. It's just sad, you know? It's not fair. I've been getting food and stuff from Eden's Grove for like my whole life. They expect me to just be okay with them ruining this town and forcing me to shop at their place? This makes me really sad. Am I crazy? I am crazy, right? No. Changes like these can be uncomfortable. Eden's Grove was certainly a staple of the community. I'm glad she was being reassured, at least. I don't know. See, that's the kind of thing that people would tell you, just get over it, but... You know, when you when you lose something like that, it's like a part of your entire life, something that's been constant, is being taken away. And for some people, that's just a much bigger deal than others. And it doesn't help that it seems like it's probably been replaced by something a lot more soulless. You can't jump that gap. And over the car, maybe? That must be what replaced it. What does that say? Uh, Homa Mart. The place she used to love. Now even the memory itself is corrupted. See. 
so she doesn't want to leave her, I guess, comfort zone. She's... I don't know what the word for it would be. There must be some name for it, but... Basically, like, I, I guess she can't handle any kind of change. She needs those constants, those persistent things in her life to keep her grounded. And I guess once all these large corporations started coming in, it's like her whole insulated world started being taken over and turned upside down. I understand. And believe that there's an opportunity here to work on our exercises in small and timely steps. I can see you're getting nervous. That's okay. It makes it so much harder already knowing how this ends. Uh, there's probably some way to jump on top of that, uh, but I'd feel more comfortable doing it with the light out. Oops. Uh, the crouch jump doesn't really work. I shouldn't be trying to do that now. Oops. The problem with the crouch jump is that I actually crouch when I do it. sounds like I placed the burden of all this on myself, but I mean, from the sound of it, I was doing a pretty good job, although eh, maybe not as effective as it should be. I at least wasn't making things worse. Now that we don't enter the store itself, only reach the end of this fragment. Oh no, we do enter! Oh, and those red lights that glow as we step through them. These types of, uh, these types of detectors are the kind of thing that might not have been present in another one. Maybe something that, to her, contributed to making this place feel more threatening and less familiar. Due to an earlier incident, Homomart is temporarily closed to the general public. We apologize for the inconvenience, and we'll reopen soon. Oh, I wonder if maybe she came here on my advice, and something bad happened as a result. No. No. These aren't going to open. Okay. Uh, you are functioning in the opposite way you're supposed to. And I back up, and you open. It's proximity triggered. Is it me, or do these doors know when I'm not looking? Call the door guy and have him fix it ASAP. Uh, I'm up to my butt in paperwork because of this, this investigation. Okay, moonwalk through it is. Wow, this place is dark. And big. Might need the flashlight for this one. <gasps> Hi. Is there something else back there? No! <laughs> oh, the ceiling is all gone, revealing a starry sky up above. George. Was that her, maybe? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Have the lowest prices, guarantee it. TVs. Built in VCR. I guess maybe this takes place in the 80s or 90s. Would certainly explain the analog technology. It's a coin slot. This doesn't work. Okay, so if I find a coin, 
we can operate this photo booth. But why would I want to do that? more of this stuff. See, the more I see these obstacles that I can't get through, the more I think about how much backtracking is going to be required. This really is like having all the pieces of a puzzle on the table, and not only having to figure out how to find all the pieces, but how to piece them together. A very, very interesting and unique structure to this one. Inez this one clawed apart. Officers, for your safety, use extra caution stepping behind the yellow tape and into the crime scene. There's plenty of broken glass and sharp objects lying around. That's an intact mirror. We've got to find what can cut this tape so that we can get through. And another one. There's that singing again. Did she maybe do something to the staff of this place? All these mannequins seem to represent different employees and, more importantly, different wounds. There's an eerie feeling here ever since the incident. Something lingers. And what's with all the mirrors everywhere? <gasps> there was something over there. Oh, it's the camera. But it looked like two red dots. Oh, that all contributed to a one-two punch of a heart attack, and it's not there anymore. Sounds over there. I whip around and... Oh, I see. It only periodically comes on. Food section. How do we get in there? No, 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 no. Lure the watcher, four mirrors left. It's reflective and sharp. Sharp as a knife. Oh, it has the dual purpose of enabling me to look behind me and probably cut things too, right? Yeah, wow, this is very much like Silent Hill in that it's all kind of drenched in visual symbolism. I can cut you with this. More battery. She can't stand the sight of herself. I don't blame her, but she needs to see the world for what it is. Help her reflect on this. Show her what she needs to see. I was thinking she's maybe scarred by self-harm and that maybe that's the reason she like d doesn't want to look at herself. Like one issue kind of led into another. More ammo in any case, but I'm hoping I won't have to use that on her. Maintenance. There are rats in the vent above the electronic exhibit. That explains the smell. We can't open the exhibit until the vents are cleaned out, as they're directly above the staged mirror. Please enter the vents via the compressor room at the east wing and clear them. Hold the broken mirror up close. It sees more than you ever could. Face the mirror. Face your fears. Right, well, we should probably start tearing all these things down. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, I have to show her her own reflection. Oh, this is an incredibly unique game mechanic and something that I'm really gonna have to get used to because that was super weird trying to orient everything, having to move it in reverse order to keep it on her. We can get more health, but we don't need it right now. Is this the electronics aisle? No, the registers. Can we see a map? No. It's the item scanner. Mm. Now, what does this mean? The broken section's a mirror on the ground. What does that tell us? Four dollars. Okay. Not. As a way of killing two birds with one coin, we are combining... You heard that knock, right? Uh, we're, we're combining selling off our new postcard collection with our freshly minted home art coins. Customers spending specific amounts of money on postcards at checkout will receive one home art coin each. How's that for creative thinking? Your individual sums are written below your registers. Ah, so we have to find the postcards, and it says where they are, and a single item can be scanned multiple times. Interesting. Okay, so that's how we can find that for the photo booth. The door to the east wing is locked. Hmm. Okay. More ammo. Definitely good to stock up on that. Ah, oh, this leads us right back around to the beginning. Okay, so it is a self-contained area. Here's one. Price tag says 50 cents. Uh, but it showed us more. Those blue glows, I think, indicate items. And the purple is mirrors, or potentially Virginia herself, if that is indeed who it is. I can't imagine who else it would be. And those things do actually remain in our vision for some time. You are. You don't need to. What is that you're holding? Oh my, imagine being in this situation. Every fiber of your being would be screaming at you to turn around. You know, it's scary. It's put us in this situation where we feel so vulnerable and so, like, unable to even see what's going on. It makes me feel like... No, 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 I'm not laughing at you. I don't even know how to articulate this. I'm not. Believe me, I'm not. No. having a very hard time keeping you in sight. But yeah, as I was trying and failing to articulate, it's this threat that is so scary that I can't, that I seemingly ca almost can't defend myself against, not well anyway, can't even see. And yet this whole thing just has this incredibly sad vibe. Like I feel nothing but sympathy. No way. There's simply no choice right now. 
what you want may not be what you need. I think triggering these things may also cause her to come looking. Okay, there she is over there. I can keep tabs this way. This place is like a maze. No. Oh, and you also hear the sounds of me cutting the ribbons down. Here's another one. Two dollars. Maybe we can put those here? Oh. Since you are attracted to sound, maybe that's what that is. Maybe me walking on these things can bring you over if you're close enough to hear it. But for now, I've lost sight of you. It's the item scanner. That's two dollars. It's an item scanner. Two fifty. No. Oh, I see. It's a math problem. Easy peasy. And there we are, which means that now we can actually get to the front and do what's really important here, which is go over and... No, you stay away. Uh, go over and take a picture in the photo booth. Yeah, that's what we need. Especially with a ghost about who hates her own image. Photo booth, photo booth, photo booth, photo booth. It's a coin slot. Yep, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. what? Yeah, what do you think was going to happen? You only went out of your way to do this. <gasps> oh, I, I think I recognize that character from the title art. And now we see our first image of ourselves. Oh. Increases your stealth every three pills. It's literally called, like, Detectinol or something. Okay. So there's four stats we can increase. Uh, maybe that's, like, some kind of playful spirit. Something that wants to help, but uh, wants to have a little bit of fun at our expense while it's at it. Or, for all we know, it's the guy on the phone, but I kind of doubt that. I don't know. There you are. No. You just stay where you are. Nope, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look at you. Here you go. Oh, you, the way you float, it's so hard to keep you in view. No. Where'd you go? Stay, st stay over there, please. Man, it is so stressful every time. I don't know how much damage she'll be able to deal to me, but it's so hard to keep her in view. The door to the This one is 250. It's the item scanner. Okay, so if I use the $2 one, that'll bring it to 250 and we get another coin. So maybe each time we do it, we can take another picture and get yet another one 399. Oh, we can't achieve that with our current thing. What about you? Five dollars, okay? So the quickest way to do that would be two, two, fifty cents, fifty cents. And now we only need one that gets us something more in the single digits. Let's try using more of these coins. No, we can't actually. That's all we've got for now. Maybe there's more of these booths around, or maybe it's for something else. Okay, now we do have a map here. Uh, we have the registers here, general section, electronics. Only question is, can we actually reach electronics? I think we've got to open up these doors over here before we can do anything else, right? Here's one of the mirrors. And another postcard, but unfortunately it doesn't help us. No. Where are you? There? No. Where did you- where are you?
This mirror reveals these marks on the ground, which I can see as well with my own piece. I've got to get her to see her own reflection, which means I've got to lure her over here somehow. There she is. No. I've got to find you. I've got to look at you. I've got to look at you and get you to come over here. It isn't. Come on, this way. Nope, no, 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 no! Okay, it cost me some health, but that's okay. And we get the key to the maintenance east wing. Excellent, that's how we progress. Took me a little while to figure this out. It's not... Complicated. And it's just a little bit difficult. I wonder what would happen if I were to try to use the gun on her, but that just feels wrong. The door to the east wing is locked. Not Need anymore. Sounds like electrical noises. Suspicion confirmed. Uh, more battery. Nothing. Mm, so interesting that we're able to pick up every phone in the game. Presumably we won't be receiving calls on all of them. I just noticed the mannequin at the back of the room. Uh, what can we do to get around you? Maybe a way up and over? Or some way to kill the power so that we can get through by ourselves. This will break these, though. Huh. More battery. Don't need that right now. Milton Haven Sheriff's Department Incident Report. Uh, March 26th, 1997, at 4.12 p.m. Uh, blah, blah, blah. On Wednesday afternoon, the Sheriff's Department received a call from Mr. Anderson Parker, manager at the Home Mart department store, about a distraught woman screaming and breaking items in the, in the store. Victim name, Virginia Rule, 25. What do you mean, I knew how? Oh, no, it's gonna be one of these. I can't even see! Crack the manager's safe, I can't even see what I'm doing while I'm in it. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out some other way, because I'm not brute forcing this. I wonder what he's got to hide. A closer look in the mirror might reveal his addiction. Just try not to make his addiction your own. Oh boy. Ah, uh, CCTV room. Maybe there's something in here. Thank the Lord for CCTV. Not only can I now catch shoplifters in the act, but thanks to my crafty intellect, I will never forget the code to my safe, for it is embedded, hidden away through the lens of a security camera. Great work, Anderson. Great work. Uh, this guy thinks quite highly of himself, huh? Hidden through the lens of a security camera. There is no power. No. What? Okay, so it is you. Oh man, the worst part about that wasn't that I turned around and he was there. It was that I had just enough time to register the footsteps coming up behind me. But as I was saying, yeah, there's certainly power in the other room. Maybe I have to find a way to switch it over?
dude, can you believe all this CCTV crap? Does he really have to keep an eye on us all the time? That control freak could probably see me writing this from this off from his office right now. Maybe his former employees stole from his registers, but we ain't about that, right? Thought I could maybe inch closer and push the button, but of course that wouldn't be the case. Ammo, which I've certainly built up a good amount of for just this moment. I could stealth it, but I've not much reason to right now. I'd rather be safe. Back this way, bud. One shot, all it takes. I just need time to line up the shot. May not be able to do it in a panic, but I can certainly do it if I get the drop on them. Our battery. David, you fool. You forgot your punch card in the machine again. Are you really that dumb? I slipped it in your locker. Again. Inez. Okay, so it's in his locker. Power box instructions. This power box is wired to the following rooms. Offices, manager, hallway, staff, and compressor room. Use each lever to toggle power in its corresponding room. Power is distributed from the left to the right on the power box. Warning. If there's an electrical malfunction in one of the rooms, the room to its right will not receive power until electricity in the malfunctioning room is toggled off. Okay, that's a puzzle that I feel I am way too tired to try and do right now. Uh, when's the last save, actually? All right, I'm all out of time for now, and we've got a lot to figure out here. And honestly, I am so down for that. This game has got me hook, line, and sinker. I am so intrigued to see what's gonna happen with this and what all of this means for my character. Uh, not to mention the gorgeous environments and uh, the occasional scares, which, while sparse, have been getting me quite good. And not to mention all these crazy mechanics that I've never seen before and I'm having to come to grips with as I go. I can already tell this is going to be such a memorable experience with, honestly, a vibe that I'm not sure I've ever felt except for maybe like a Silent Hill. I am 100% buying what this game is selling so far and I can't wait to explore it more. But unfortunately, it's going to have to wait until next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.